My enemies are many. My equals are none. Part 32, my friends, let's play the Napoleon Total War with Darth Maul. We continue where we left things off last time, and we are facing the Great Bear of the East, Russia. At last, we have found their forces hiding out in Austrian territory. I guess they were marching towards me to start trying to harass my supply lines and my settlements uh, down in the sort of southeastern part of my territory. But we are kind of preempting that strike from Russia by marching in to finish off Austria ourselves. We've got forces moving in with Napoleon through Poland and Massena has been sent to, to secure Transylvania. Um, we're attacking the Russians, drawing out the garrison from um, Klausenberg as well. The Austrians will come on in to support the Russians. So in we go. As always, thanks for all your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions are greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming as well as your unit name suggestions. We'll try and add some more in next week. Um, depending on whether we have a mix of just videos or streamed and videos uh, for this. So stay tuned. We'll add in some names uh, across the episodes next week, though, regardless for our forces. And uh, yeah, generally looking at the comments of the last episode where I was sort of saying we want to try and have a bit of a breather in this campaign in terms of uh, teching up to get the best possible... Uh, troops that we can get for our forces so that they can all be shown off in this campaign because uh, a lot of you would sort of were saying you know it'd be, a, it'd be a shame if we couldn't get the most elite french troops out in this campaign uh, so we are going to kind of do some little side objectives take out some smaller nations that are still um fighting against us a lot of you pointed out that we're, we're still at war with the um southern italian states uh, and factions of like Sicily and Naples, so we'll go after them probably. Also, thanks for reminding me, Spain, I was actually planning on trying to have one big last naval battle with them to try and take the Santissima Trinidad, which was one of the largest warships of the age. Uh, and in Napoleon Total War, it's the ship with the largest amount of cannons on it. So yeah, we might see if we can grab that at an opportune moment and just have a little a little cheeky war with, with uh, Espana. I'm just going to get everyone into groups and then figure out my line. I've set all my cannons to be unlimbered, but I'm kind of now realizing that I may not want to do that because I think we need to move them all forward a bit. Fighting the Russians in winter. Good luck. Yes, very much so. Yeah, I think I need my artillery to move forward, but they've got an interesting deployment, kind of some nice little, a nice little plateau here. I wouldn't mind having that. What could go? What could go wrong? Fighting Russia in the winter. Um, so yeah, it looks like I just need to move up to this little ridge line here. And I'm looking on the on the left for an option. I'm gonna have to push forward quite a bit there. Over on the right, mm, it's fairly open. Yeah, this isn't. This is not ideal. Not ideal. Um, right, okay, move you guys there. Move you guys to go up there. I think I'm going to have two artillery through the middle. Fairly close together. And then have you got the right there. For the Portuguese Legion on the right, we'll have the skirmishers on the left. Then we'll have, I think, this group of three over here. We'll possibly chuck another one out to the right there. We'll have you guys in the center, and then you guys in between here to support, and all the cavalry over on the left. Masena, you're going to set up an HQ uh, back behind the town hall for now, so you don't get shot by cannon fire, and then, then you'll march on out once the cannons have been taken out. All good. Lovely. Windows noises intensifies. Oh yeah, where where are the Austrians coming in from? 
Oh, over to my left. Great. Hello. Right, cavalry, you'll go deal with them. You actually, it's the cavalry on their own should be able to deal with them because they're all just militia. So we'll leave that to them. Woo! Yeah, forgot to move this one. Masena. Uh oh. Pull that artillery back because the cavalry is coming for you. It's going to be one of those frantic setup ones, isn't it, that I'm going to get wrong. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be I'm yours. certainly going to get that wrong with the cannons. Run the rest of the cannon crew inside me square. Our men are running, sir. Uh oh. Oh no, they have just made it to the square. Oh boy, Portuguese Legion. Up you go. Cannon crew again. This is pretty frantic. Trying to reform. Can you guys even fire clearly there? No, you need to shuffle forward a smidge. What's happening with my cavalry? Okay, they've come into attack. You know what? They're actually doing okay though. Good. Good cavalry. Well, that, that charge from them over there has broken them. Charge on in. Move to the flanks. Charge these guys. That will shatter the militia. We've got it. It's a shame that crew went, but they haven't been taken out. Shuffle you guys up some more. All the way over here, please. Keep advancing cavalry. Get around behind him. Shatter the Austrians. In behind. Perfect. I'm just going to tell all of you guys to stop firing because otherwise friendly fire is going to be mad. Open up the cannon. There we go. We've got control of the battle at last. Didn't expect the Russians to so aggressively advance, actually. So GG to them on that. Trying to pull that general out. 
send that unit after them. These guys are completely shattered. Pull the rest of the cavalry around to the right. Uh, they got my skirmishes over here. This is fine. Them off. All the way down the line. Unlimber. Do your thing. You've got them. Comfortably. We have killed their general, sir. Nice. Now they must break. Infantry, storm the cannons. Nice. Bring the cavalry up. Off the general. Give him a volley. Watch him drop. Send all the cavalry along. Beautiful. Hello, General. Come to die. Oh, cannonball in the face. Cut off their retreat. Job done. Fast forward it now. Happy days. Boom. Blasted the bear. Person ne nous vaincra. Not bad. 984. Wasn't the best positioning with our cannons, but we didn't have the kind of best deployment options. I'll take it. Off they run. We could press the attack or we can just go in here and secure Klausenberg. Which, uh, the garrison there. They get the Archduke Legion. That is actually... If I order resolve that, I bet I'll lose like a thousand men. I kind of want a reasonable force here. I could pull these guys in to reinforce, but I probably should fight that, to be honest. I think we've made all the other moves we can do with our armies. We've got 10,000 in London. Forgot about that. But you're just waiting out the Russian winter for now. Davo. Yeah, I mean, we, we could look to push there, but we're just going to kind of hold for the time being. Napoleon's getting ready to march in. He is taking attrition, but we're hoping to draw the Russians to us. So it'll be interesting to see what happens during the intern phase. Where we'll have another fight on our hands. You guys are staying there to, yeah, keep the public order. 
And you're just replenishing up before we march you to a front. Yeah, is the Santissima Trinidad still in here? I can't tell at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, you're saying upgrade um, Corsica as well. But yeah, we need to go after Sicily and Naples. We might as well while we're at war with them. That'll give us some time to get our research going. Uh, I think someone too was saying, like, make sure you're researching all the military stuff. We are. We're re we've researched all the military tech. We actually can't research any more technology right now until the military academy is built, which is our next thing to build. Um, which we've got going in a couple of places, but notably Paris is the closest one to being complete. So four more turns and that is done. And then we can research all the next three, few bits. Liege actually doesn't have anything to research, but there's no point converting it just yet because we will have more technology available to um, to go for soon. Um, hang on, that's Court of Appeals, but it needs trade unions. Oh, we've got, oh, we don't have enough money. Right, yeah, I need to upgrade that next so we can get through the next few bits. But yeah, once we get through that stage there, there should be enough for us to research with all of our universities, especially then once we build that one. Uh, are we building that anywhere else? Okay, we just started it in London. That's good. Uh, there was a suggestion of saying get a small star fort in Paris just because it's kind of just a little bit of OCD annoying that the, it's not fully upgraded and complete there. So yeah, we could probably chuck something in there. Um, I mean, I could probably bring these guys in to reinforce, couldn't I? We can then get the order resolved. Let's see. Let's see. Do they show? Yeah. I mean, let's, let's take it then. We just had a battle against them. We lose a thousand. Which definitely shouldn't have done. Could liberate, but we're not going to. We're just going to conquer everything. Bring everything under the direct iron fist of, uh, of the French Empire. I mean, the liberating enlightened fist of France. Okay, we've got more Russians coming through. Yeah, they're just going to come across that way. So that's where we'll need to try and hold them. Um, I'm just thinking, can we do anything to get you guys happy? Uh, probably move everything apart from... Ah, uh, no, we can't do everything. Oh, so, and now you take attrition moving there. God dang, you were in the forest, so you weren't taking it. Okay, well, we might as well move as many of them that can get in there as possible. Oh. Can we get... A few more in there. Oh, it looks like we'll be able to do everyone but like one unit. I love that they added in. Uh, or not not added in, but they included with the release of the game. Um, native languages for the troops. Oh, there we go. We can move them all in that way. Beautiful. Happy days. Right. They're not taking attrition anymore. Messena really should go in that army so that they do replenish. There we go. Perfect. You guys are happy. You're, everyone's replenishing. We're all set. That's all we can do for this turn. Let's end it. Ah, yes, our fleet. I'd forgotten about that one, though. Hey, Spain. Yeah, I've remembered I'm coming for your ship at some point. Oh, there are naturally oh. resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now will increase your... Winter attrition to Napoleon's army. Where's that Russian force go? That's not good that I can't see that huge Russian army. Change the position. I'm assuming you are in ambush somewhere. Which is not ideal. I'm 
going to do is take the column, the attack columns out. We've got space for three more units. Technically, like two more in a general, um, which we'll be able to do. So we'll take these guys, the um, Vistula Legion. Although the Westphalian ones are... Oh, so their melee attack is huge. Okay, yeah, let's take them in their place. And that's another army ready to go. Yeah, there's going to be a Russian... A Russian ambush there somewhere. Let's trigger that with some cavalry, I think. I don't know where the Russians have gone here. Um, what we'll do is we will garrison down here, the munitions manufactory, and then we will take all that cavalry, pop them down here to rejoin as well, and we'll pop you guys in here to hold Transylvania. Happy days. Yeah, get that in there. Before I forget, go back to Paris. Get that in there. Let's do that so it's all fully upgraded. We can now get our best artillery though, right? Oh, experimental howitzers, artillery, APA, which is our, our strongest um, artillery. 310 firepower. That should even shatter the strength of the 12 pounders, although like, why can't I see them? Yeah, oh, same as the 12 pounders in terms of firepower, but their accuracy and reload skill is better. So yeah, they must be 12 caliber ones. Um, experimental howitzers are the ones with the regular ones. They can do the, oh, what's it called? The, for like the, the, what was it? White phosphorus shot. Uh, quick climb for experimental. Yeah. We don't have access to that yet, but that would be nice. It's very good at, in sieges. Um, if, if it, you're a staff, well, actually the AI is not built any. We've not come across many. I'll go for artillery APA for now. We'll just spam out a load of them for Napoleon's grand new ga grand battery. Or oh, is that all we can get? Oh, can okay, you have four of them? Yep, that's fine. There is actually a there is actually a grand battery, isn't there? If we go to the next one, yeah, grand battery of the convention. That is the biggest one, the biggest cannon we can get. So we need to upgrade to that again, but we need more. Tech. Um, so we'll get those in there, and then we'll get some experimental habits. Are we capped on the number we can get there? Four. It'll queue up four of them. Beautiful. The recruitment UI is like, yeah, it's it's not ideal. It's it's not really a problem in the base game, but um, Darth Mod adds in so many more units that this is all the all the um, UI can do with it is just stack them up like that, so you can't easily see them. It's, it's something I've never particularly liked um, that Darth Mod does do. But then I guess if they can't mod the UI elements uh, more than this, then there's no way they can build like another shelf above it or anything like that. Unfortunately, so. Kind of the, the best we can get. Military Academy, get it in there so we can keep producing troops near the front. Um, getting all those there. It's told me there was a theatre had been damaged somewhere, but I cannot remember where. Bringing everything here along the border. Yeah, so we've got some solid places because that's where we'll produce our best troops to go into, into Russia from and with. So we want our best ones built up. If we can. Uh, Corsica, let's upgrade you. I'm just going to show that we know they had other forces coming. Um, we can use our spy to see. Oh, oh, the Ottomans have pushed against Russia. They have taken Moldavia. Yeah, have fun with that, Russia. I mean, I'm still going to take out the Ottomans, but yeah, you guys send all your armies this way, and then when you've when you've left the region, I'll just swoop on in, cut you off by taking Bucharest and Istanbul, and then Athens and Belgrade will fall behind, um, and be enveloped, and then we can just push the rest, keep the rest of our troops held along the the river here. Play effect, right? We need a scout. I mean, what we could do with Napoleon is march him in here, first of all, so he doesn't take any more attrition. We could then keep marching here. I don't think there's any trees which we should be set up to ambush. Got more forces over here. Where are my other spies? Got one here. 
But you going to Moscow to see what's going on there. Ba, 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 ba. I feel like I'm missing a spy somewhere. Poland, you're up there. Yep. Ah, it was you that was going to go through that way for me. Uh, okay, yeah, go back here so I can see across there. Madrid, Liege. No, you're all gentlemen. That's fine. Come back this way, yeah. Something. So I'm pretty sure they've got a full army at Villainous. Um, if we march out here, we will still take attrition. I can't make it to the horse stud farm. I could go here, but then we, we risk things. So we'll wait. Wait there still. Um, we could send this lance unit. It's not going to be able to move far enough. Mira, would you send one of your lancers to discover where the Russians may be hiding? Okay, they don't seem to be on the path to Galicia, so that means Napoleon can march on Lemberg. And it is a solid showdown with the Austrians. Okay, well, we will fight that in a second. That will actually be the end of Austria. So that is their final region. Mira with his force, can now take up position behind at the Rezo. And this army, we will move... Oh, we can't make it there this turn. Damn, because yeah, we've moved some... Don't know where that Russian army went. I can only assume it's through the trees here somewhere, so we need to keep an eye out behind our lines. But we've got enough that we can throw together. Counterattack or Masena can move back to deal with that and the rest of our moves you guys are all set over here how's the army looking you're okay um yeah you can push up you head to warsaw for now and you guys stay there until we can get more generals in my navy yeah so we uh, that's what i wanted to do i wanted to get some militia didn't i to go kick them out of their ports uh, we can just about do it. But I may get instantly hit by the Russian forces, so we'll see what happens. But if not, we should be able to get a rather tasty naval battle next time. Because we'll kick them out of the port and then we can attack them. I say tasty, it's going to be a slaughter. But let's see what happens there. Uh, otherwise, right. Napoleon. Let's finish off the Austrians. In we go. Nice open plains here. Which should mean we can just set up the artillery and draw them into their doom. Especially because they have no artillery. So there is... We should play to our strength here, which is our artillery advantage. So that is what we shall do. Unleash the iron baguettes. Righteous... Breaded Fury. Along with Boney's Bruisers. The Steel Legion. I have another unit that I can... Plop down. Where did that last one go, actually? Oh, you're right. You're through the cavalry there, yeah. We do have the Never Surrender. But I don't know if I want them all the way over on the right. Mm, you guys, I could spread you over to the left a little bit. And then we move the iron baguettes over. And pop the artillery there. And then never surrender. Can go in there. Just check their terrain. Yeah, it's all clear. 
beautiful. Old Garden Grenadiers. You will hold the center. And more Grenadiers to the left and right of the center. Hold that high ground wonderfully. Then we'll have the line infantry fusiliers hold up to the right there. Take control of that ridge line where you can. We'll have the heavy cavalry reserve screened behind there and they can flank on around after the battle has begun. Skirmishers we will have out in front but we'll actually have you based out a little bit to place some stakes to start with then we'll pull you over to the left along with the skirmish cavalry no time to lose and the supply chain they'll hold the left there Perfecto. napoleon will sit behind his old guard that ridge line wonderfully through the trees that's going to be beautiful and then yeah we've got the cavalry hidden behind oh it's going to be good imagine if i had my cannons up here thing is the ai wouldn't have marched straight out and they would have gone to the flanks but that would have been a grand battery position here just fire over the fat battlefield or if we'd had howitzers arrange them up on the hill disgusting Ooh, that is a very good line of stakes. That's going to protect us very nicely from any cavalry charges. Okay, and then we have you guys just holding the left for us now. I just think you guys can just angle yourselves slightly further forward. It's going to get buggy with the terrain. But that is beaut. Lovely. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Shattering those lancers. We're drawing them all to us. Nice and slow and steady. I, I'm assuming they can see my cavalry because I don't think they have line of sight blocked out in this. But they're sending their, their cavalry around this way along with some infantry. The rest of them marching in wide column. My cavalry will be ready to repel them. And they come around that corner. Oh, that first group of cavalry gone. Second group. Skirmishers. Oh, they're going to go straight into the stakes. Yes! Bye bye. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. Yeah, that's great. Happy, happy days. Send in the cavalry. Send in the heavy cavalry reserve. Okay, 
Gracias. Charge. I prefer lances or sabers. I mean, overall, I probably say I prefer the save the saber cavalry just because they're typically more more of a well-rounded unit. Whereas the lances, there they have insane charge bonus. So if you can get an effective charge with the lances, they're very effective. But then they struggle in melee because their stats uh, are pretty low because they're meant to be shock troop. They're meant to be charged in, break the enemy, then pull back, and then rinse and repeat. So if they can't kind of stick to that tactical deployment and use of them. They do struggle if they're caught in prolonged um, melee, basically. So, I think just because situationally, Sabre Cavalry are more well-rounded, they've got a reasonable charge, but they kind of they'll hold out very nicely in prolonged combat against all sorts of different troops. I would say I, if I had to just kind of pick one, I'd go with Sabre Cavalry over Lancers. more i guess for the redundancy of what if things go wrong which unit has the best kind of survivability long term across multiple scenarios Prepare yourselves steady steady These lances came for us as well. It's fine. Get them now. I don't think you guys are going to see much action. I'll probably have to turn you to face the other way. Charge the Grenadiers on the left. Beautiful. the cavalry back here so they can be supported by the infantry nicely. Reform with the cavalry. Guard holding solid in the center. We have some enemies to fight in a minute though, because it looks like they're keen to charge. One last adjustment with these guys over here. Charge with the cavalry. Didn't manage to break him. Good. All we need to do here is break the enemy. Good settlement battle. Right. I think we can unleash a deadly charge on these guys. They're pinned by my infantry. Some volleys. Sweep one in behind before that next unit comes into play. Get him.
cavalry falling upon them perfectly. That is glorious. Austrians still trying to get into position to form up against my main line and they just can't. Now that's soldiering. A quick charge with the reserve to slow them down. And we'll pull them back. My infantry are clear. Yet yeah, they are now. Pull them back. The rest of the battlefield just littered with Austrian dead. Get a few shots off as we retreat, but not much. All the while, it gives screening time. The second unit of the cavalry reserve to move on round. Ah, they got their general. He's so he's trying to retreat around, find his remaining unit. Take him out, cavalry. Charge in with the infantry now that they're turning around to try and deal with my cavalry. Support their general. Well done, Olga. Like, not a single bit of damage to the center. They just held so firmly and supported so well by the cannons. That's beautiful. In goes the infantry. Perfect. one last charge to finish them but I think we've got them it's that general as well being slippery pathfinding through the city is getting a bit iffy okay they managed to get away there we have killed their general sir now they Boom. must break job done thank you 594 lost. Not bad at all. How many kills did my old guard get? 262 with zero casualties. That's beautiful. And with that, we should have, yes, the end of Austria. shattered and i can't think of a better point to end this episode than on that austria smashed into oblivion until the next one hope you've enjoyed take care and ciao for now